check it. Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janelle Samora, and this is Scent Talk from my closet, the fragrance closet. And on this channel, we go over all things fragrance. If this is your first time watching, I do like to focus on one perfume house or topic at a time. We've been going over the Delina fragrances for the, well, just yesterday and today. But we've been going over perfumes to Marley if you're interested in checking out any other reviews, including the brand new release of Vallea. Vallea, yes. I, I was calling it Vilaya the entire video, and it's Vilaya. <laughs> uh, if this is something you're interested in, go ahead and continue watching. Consider hitting that subscription button and the bell so you'll be notified to new videos. This is second to the last, you guys. We do have one more fragrance to go over. We will be talking about the only men's line I believe I picked up, which is Pegasus. So this is uh, an Eau de Parfum. This is... And it, I believe they have a Pegasus exclusive as well. I am not opposed to get, gr grabbing another round of Perfumes de Marley fragrances from the men's line because there's quite a bit that um, are advertised that can be considered unisex fragrances. So yeah, stay tuned for that. We have one more to go. But for today, let's get into Delina La Rose, a floral, fruity, feminine fragrance released in 2021. Perfumer is Quentin Biche, as, as well as the other two Delinas that we discussed um, yesterday. The younger and more vibrant order perfume of the olfactory signature Delina with a touch of brightness that delicately brightens the skin. The scent is a blend of transparent water flowers and peony. Delina La Rose captures a contemporary ode to the luxury of nature, the sky, water, and the earth. In the top here we have lychee, pear, and bergamot essence. In the heart, Turkish rose, peony, and transparent flowers. In the base, soft wood, white musk, and vetiver. I sprayed it right before the video here. This one, you guys, opens up with an air, and I just mean an air, just a whisper of the original Delina. It is just takes a sharp but very dainty turn <laughs> uh, left, okay, into this very bright aquatic background. It is apparent immediately these flowers are in water. They're, they're extremely aquatic. It's very brightening, very refreshing. I, I do believe that I can appreciate this. <laughs> Other, there are a few fragrances that this is compared to, and I cannot truly say that I can appreciate them. One being Chloe Eau de Parfum. Age old fragrance, classic, and unfortunately it was never for me. This fragrance, I wouldn't say it's my, you know, this is what I look for. I definitely cannot say that, but it surprised me at how wonderfully feminine and, and beautiful it, it really did wear. Um, there is still a hint of spice in this fragrance, just like the original Delina. I did get that hint, but it's just a hint. I'm assuming because there's no rhubarb in this, there's no nutmeg either, uh, that it doesn't amplify that Turkish rose spice. So, um, yeah, the, the, also the aquatic florals just cut right through that as well. Now, while it is fruitier than the original Delina opening, I wouldn't say that it's sweeter than Delina Exclusive, for example. In my own personal experience, it is still sweet though. Um, you know, it does open up nice and sweet, but more so aquatic in its nature. Def that's what stands out to me is the aquatic tone. Um, and what do I mean by that? Let's let's compare it to something else that you might have smelled. Let's say uh, like Aqua de Gioa has this aquatic undertone in the back. Like you can sense it. It just smells like water. <laughs> it just really does. So um, that's what's going on here. These florals are in water and it just kind of tones down that sweetness. Sweet and majestic Delina Exclusive that opening, not this. <laughs> this is way different, much lighter. Um, I would definitely not reach for Delina Exclusive for 
um, let's say a walk in the park and it's going to be in the 90s. I'm not going to be walking by with those wonderful, beautiful, ambery, sweet, sweet, seductive, you know, oud wood. No, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> but would I reach for something like this? Yes. Oh, definitely fitting for that type of occasion, especially if there's, you know, waterfalls or ponds or something. That's what this gives. This gives uh, a nice, beautiful walk through, through, you know, just very, very beautiful scenery. So yeah, just if I had to sum it all up, aquatic, floral, feminine, fruity, <laughs> fruity only in the top and, uh, you know, very uh, short lived. It does get rid of the fruitiness pretty easily. Um, you know, I mean, pretty soon, <laughs> not easily. This has nice lasting power as well. Um, never headache inducing, never felt like, oh, I'm not jiving. I'm not feeling this. It was enjoyable the entire wear. I got 10 plus hours on skin, 12 plus hours on clothes. It was very much present, although softer than the Delina and the Delina Exclusive. I will say it is not uh, as a loud projector as those two fragrances were. The Delina Original and the uh, Delina Exclusive. Those are strong, very, very, you know, very, very strong sillages. I'm not saying it doesn't have sillage. You do leave a trail. It's just soft. It's delicate is what it is, but it is very present. The fragrance was present the entire day. Um, as I was wearing it, especially in the beginning of the fragrance, oh, I had some fruits come to mind. Like I want to amplify the pear in this fragrance. I wouldn't mind adding some citrus, um, you know, some body care and some and some fragrance sprays to this. It it had that type of blank canvas, if you will. <laughs> you know, um, I wouldn't want to add some of the things I'm going to talk about today. Um, you know, with this fragrance, I wouldn't want to add it to the exclusive. For example, um, I would only want to add it to this or to any other feminine fruity floral that you resonate with go for it because <laughs> this has a pretty hefty price tag to it right here um so yeah you guys eternal eternal on clothes longevity was nice and uh, i truly truly did enjoy this i'm glad that it didn't overwhelm me with spices can i say that this is 100 percent original no there are several fragrances that could get the job done uh like i just mentioned you know we have some long combs as well that could probably um you know make you feel feminine fruity floral wonderful <laughs> uh, but if you have a perfumes to marley collection going on or you want the bottles are gorgeous and uh, or you get it as a gift man yes yes <laughs> this this rocks in in that sense or if you can afford it of course or get it on sale so let's talk about now uh now uh, that we've gone over the scent what i would love to pair this with you guys oh so since it has that um just bright bright tone i would love to pair this with some uh, bubbly rosé here by Bath & Body Works. It has pink sparkling rosé, sweet blood orange, and a splash of cranberry. This is just rosy enough. Just, oh, it's just, and it has a, a perfumey tone to it, but not so overwhelming. I think it would go so nice. The pink sparkling rosé is what comes across as a little bit floral in here. Other than that, we have orange and cranberry, and it's just yum. <laughs> I would love to add that here. What did I go with when I wore it? Oh, to tell you the truth, I really wanted to wear champagne toast, <laughs> but um, because I just felt like, ooh, I want to get that tangerine up in here. This has a juicy tangerine, sparkling berries, and bubbly champagne, and I thought to myself, oh, that's going to be beautiful, but I did not. <laughs> I was like, no, uh, let's go ahead and and warm it up a little bit it was not extremely hot the day that i wore it so this has iced rose star jasmine and warm white amber and it went beautifully with the other uh delinas and which one did i wear it with did i wear it with the original or did i wear it with the exclusive ah uh, i believe i went 
for it with the original. <laughs> yes, I, I wore this with the original fragrance and I took my travel size actually because man, was it ever spicy on me. Um, so it goes, it goes with this as well because it has that jasmine. Yes, it has the white amber and it's a little bit uh, benzo-y, you know, like really, really sweet candied-like feel. And it just went very, very nicely also with the, with the um, La Rose. Was it my first pick? No, nope. <laughs> but since I wasn't familiar uh, with the fragrance, would it have been my first pick? Is what I'm trying to say. No, nope. because I wasn't familiar with the fragrance. I would have reached for something a little more fruity, a little more champagne toast, a little more uh, rosé. Yeah, the bubbly rosé. So champagne toast is just very chameleon-like, I feel. I think it could go wonderfully with reds and oranges and, and um, you know, just florals. It goes with so much. I love it. It's just fresh. <laughs> I thought I was over it. I really did. thought I was over champagne toast. You guys, pear. Yes, let's do it. If you want something sweet, less floral, we have Fresh Rainfall, Sunkissed Pear, and Blonde Woods. I just picked this up recently. It's called Emerald Mist by Bath & Body Works, and it's nice. Oh yeah, it's nice and it's got a lot of pear, and it re reminds me a lot of the Ariana Grande um, Mod Vanilla, the weird white shape bottle. It goes really well with it, actually. I've already worn it with it. It smells a lot like it. And God is a woman as well with those pear tones. Yeah, it just does. Now, if you want to keep that floral aspect, you guys. Oh, I had to return the Eau de Parfum of this. I have the Eau de Parfum of the Gingham. If you can see right here. Can you see it? Gingham Gorgeous. And also the Gingham, um, what is it called? vibrant. I have the gorgeous and the vibrant. The day that I tried this, I did get the Eau de Parfum of the Gingham Fresh. I could not tolerate it. I don't know why the Eau de Parfum had a very sharp, sharp note to it. This, it not so much. This is a, a lot sweeter, I feel, than the Eau de Parfum. Does it still have a perfume tone in here? Definitely. Um, but I feel like this is fresh and it never it never goes super super sharp on me plus it's a lot lighter uh than the order perfume the order perfume was way too strong for me you guys if you want a strong order perfume from bath and body works go for the gingham fresh oh my goodness it was strong i had to return it um but anyways this this would go beautiful with la rose it has juicy pear sparkling clementine and fresh daisies and i believe those are the ones that got me i can't do it <laughs> i cannot do it but combining it with different fragrances i can do so that, that is what I have uh, recommended here with La Rose. I feel like, oh, that's just, I just want to brighten it up, make it more fruity. But those are just my personal preferences. If you don't need fruits, if you don't want to smell fruity, floral, frilly, that's totally fine. You could rock um, the Delina Rose on its own. It has no problem with longevity at all. It did, it, it was a wonderful wear as far as longevity is concerned so yeah that's it for uh delina la rose um i did mention right it kind of smells like um a lot of people say just get the chloe oh, i can't tolerate chloe at all and i did tolerate this so there i believe there has to be a difference in quality of um the ingredients you know that they that they choose for these fragrances um, I don't know. I just feel like also there has to be something behind the price tag other than, you know, the, um, the name brand. <laughs> As I, I have found just a general consensus here exploring Perfumes de Marley that the fragrances feel luxurious. They really do. And I mean, I didn't pay an arm and a leg for these samples, so it's not about the price tag. I tell it like it is, whether it's five dollars or five hundred you know i tell it like it is and the feel that i get from these fragrances is that of luxury it's what i feel <laughs> now if i had the beautiful bottle oh, i bet i'd feel it a little more because presentation also has a lot to do with your uh with how you just perceive uh what you're applying 
I'm not going to be walking around with a bottle uh, all day, so <laughs> that doesn't really matter in the end. Okay, I'm rambling. That was it for uh, La Rose, you guys. Uh, stay tuned. We have, I did film this weeks ago. So I hope everything still applies. If not, I'll just go ahead and refilm it for you guys. And I'll be glad to throw this on again. I am speaking of Double Decadence here. It does have my name on it. This is a collaboration with Genre Perfumes. LouisianaRoma.com is where you'll be able to purchase this. Proceeds will be going to St. Jude. A portion of the proceeds at the end of it all. Um, the owner, Devin Bro, he goes ahead and he puts on his website what the final contribution was. I am stoked. I cannot wait to get to the end of all of this and see how much we were able to help and contribute to St. Jude. It's been um, it's been a long, long time that I've been uh, donating uh, to St. Jude. And I just, this is really, really special to me. And I want to thank you guys in advance um, for whoever purchases these bottles there will be a 50 ml and a 10 ml bottle also available on the site so go ahead and grab yours um because it is it will be limited until and if if um the owner mentioned if if the demand is there then he'll go ahead and make it part of the collection uh, you know of the genre perfumes collection this is inspired by narcoticas dulce diablo it is a gourmand fragrance through and through this is why i named it double decadence because that's just ooh, that's just what it is you guys beautiful fragrance can't wait to tell you all about it like i said if the uh review does not coincide with what's going on this week then i'll go ahead and refilm it um but yeah that's what we got going on today and tomorrow <laughs> Woo! Y'all have a blast rest of your day, your night, or your evening, and you stay safe.